Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. And this morning we are just about to leave Turkey Hill, hitting up the ATM and gonna head out to some yard sales. So let's see what we can find today. <clears throat> I don't know what, you know, they have different calibers. That's a McCoy vase. That's yeah. a collectible. The reason I, it's probably worth ten, to, a lot more than this. But the reason I uh, only have two dollars on it is because it has that. Price. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But you know where I had it setting, nobody could see it. Right. Right. Gotcha. So that was the important thing. <laughs> right. Right. Good morning. Christmas and August sale there, a lot of Christmas. Okay. It'll be here soon enough. Yes, it will. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is cute. Switch those out. Yeah, you would be good. I think everybody set up. Yeah, I Yeah, I heard you. I will let you know. <sighs> Maybe not. How much is the puzzle? <laughs> Three bucks. Three bucks? Okay. Would you take two for it?
much is the jacket? 50? This is for a candle? Yankee candles. That's what I was trying to think of. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, you put a Yankee candle in there. Right, right. And that's right. what that is too. That's the set. You know, just one in there. Mm -hmm. That one has the top. And yeah, I'm going to take that. Do you have something to wrap it? Yes. change. That'll be $3. Thank yes, you. Ooh, does that keep you up at night, that train? Get used to it after a while. <laughs> we don't live here, the water does. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Thank you, have a great day. in shoe land. And that one's opened. Ooh, breaking my, breaking my thing. What is this? Two dollars? Mm, okay. I'll take that. I'm taking these. Here, let me get you that. All right, guys. So let's get into another haul. <laughs> so this weekend, it, it was a little rough at first to, to find anything. There were several sales, but it was just, I don't know, it was kind of slim pickings at most of them. But I did manage to find a few things, of course. So this is what I bought. All right, so it feels like something's in these. Oh, it's like, it's bags. Probably to hold their shape. So I picked up these aerosols boots and I picked these up because I actually bought the same exact pair probably six months ago. And nah, maybe a little longer than that. I don't know. but last fall maybe and as soon as i listed them they sold like right away so i picked these up for five dollars to get those listed i have a ton of stuff ton of stuff and this week was kind of rough so far for listing because i've been super busy with a lot of other things so it'll just sit there until i can get to it anyway picked up another watercolor this i paid 50 not watercolor paint by number. Ugh. All right. So I paid 50 cents for this. And I mean, 
It's got some like water marking to the back of it or whatever. It's got some spots. I'm going to try to wipe this down with one of those Dollar Tree wipes. Those things are like pretty amazing, believe it or not. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. But this is kind of cool. I actually still have the other one that I have to get listed. Probably going to put this and the other one. Uh, what was it? The covered bridge. I'm going to put, probably put these on Etsy. So one of these days, but yeah, thought that was pretty neat for 50 cents. The girl actually sold it to me for 50 cents. And then her father was like, Oh, I wanted more for that. Well, she's like, well, you should have been here then. <laughs> so, you know, anyway, and I picked up a Starbucks mug. I don't know. Paid 10 cents for it. Can't go wrong with a 10 cent mug, right? Uh, of course, some candles, 50 cents for this one. Look, I almost, I haven't done this in a while. I almost, you guys want a whiff of this? I almost did that. This one smells really good. Cashmere Glow Bath and Body Works. This I am definitely keeping. I feel like I picked up one of these at some other point this year. I don't know. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but that one is going to be a keeper. And then I picked this one up for a dollar, Midnight Luxuries. It says Oldwood. O-U-D-W-O-O-D. Oldwood? Oldwood? Oldwood and Rose? I have never heard of that word. Beautifully aromatic candle. And I typically don't. Oh, it's the Bloom and Prosper Candle Co. Never heard of that. And I've never heard of Oldwood. And I typically don't like rose scented things but this it must be the oldwood <laughs> this actually smells pretty good but i'm gonna look it up and see if it's worth anything because i am not totally in love with it and i have a million candles already so <laughs> and i don't even think i've burned a candle in like six months <laughs> i have problems i have real problems and look another candle with my hair attached to it okay so this is william sonoma love that brand you guys know that if you've been watching me this is winterberry with essential oils so it is blended with pomegranate cassis and sweet orange Ooh, sounds fancy sounds fancy so it's definitely strong it's definitely a strong scented candle <laughs> let's do it again <laughs> So anyhow, this right here, I will be, I will be looking up and probably, probably going to be putting this one on the market. All right. So then I picked this up. I actually bought this from one of my viewers. Uh, she was having a sale and, you know, I did not catch her name. So if you're watching this, drop it in the comments say hi let me know what your name was uh I, she was busy it was like you know a lot of people there and you know exchanging money and this and that and then this actually dropped the table while i was paying her the table collapsed and this thing was like boom straight down on the concrete longerberger pottery i'm like what this thing did not break i like i this is going to be like the third or fourth time that I've looked this over and there's, there's really not a crack or a chip. There was a little piece of hair. Uh, there's nothing. I cannot believe it because like I said, this, this just went, this went straight down on the, on the concrete. Okay. I found a flaw. I found a flaw is just a very, very 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 tiny right there I mean it's very hard to see it's the tiniest nick in the edge that must have been what happened but for this thing to still be in one piece and I mean that is like that's nothing really so for this to still be in one piece I am completely amazed so I paid two dollars for this kind of a unique style that I have not come across or seen. So I will have to look this up and see what it's going for to wash it up a little bit. Definitely disclose that little tiny Nick. 
in the edge. It, it's really nothing major though. Like that thing, that's some strong pottery right there. All right, now I did pick this up. You guys saw that in the video. This, she said, fits a Yankee candle. So I will, I will check that out because of course I have Yankee candles. You guys know that. Uh, so I will definitely, definitely check that out. But this is another Marjolaine Baston piece. And you guys know I love to pick, pick her stuff up. This is another piece I have never come across. It definitely fits some kind of candle. You can see like the black soot in there from, from being used. But this, this is awesome. This is really, really, really cool. I really like this. I mean, it's got a little tiny bit of paint wear to the end of that pencil tip. I mean, that's nothing, that's nothing major. The birds though, the birds look great. They don't look broken or anything like that. Everything on here looks really good. So that is a super cool piece. That should definitely, definitely sell for at least $25. Uh, so yeah, I, I was excited to pick that up. I love that stuff. Picked this up, ended up paying $2. Flags of the world. Always, always picking up the new, always picking up the new puzzles because they do sell for me. Okay, this was actually my first stop. I picked up two boxes of Thomas Piccone Classics, and I did pay $5 a box. And uh, I actually bought a couple boxes about two years ago of Thomas Piccone ornaments, and I think they were, I think they were like 25 piece sets or something like that, maybe even 30. I don't know, I think maybe 30. No idea, but lots of pieces in that. I actually parted out every single ornament. And I think I still have some I could probably list from the second set, but yeah, I was selling them by the piece and they sold well during, during the holiday season. So these I'm just gonna sell as a set. There are six in each box and I think they're both the same, but they come with the certificate and everything um i believe these are sold on like home shopping network or qvc so yeah two sets five bucks a piece i think they are both yeah they are they're both the same so we'll see maybe 25 bucks a set for those i have to look them up i haven't looked them up yet i picked up these spongebob golf balls for 75 cents just because i thought they were super cute actually there's supposed to be six in here and there's only five i mean i don't know if these are going to sell for anything but maybe maybe a little bit i just couldn't pass them up look how cute they are look at that so cute spongebob golf ball all righty and then i picked up this is a harley long sleeve 2XL, new with tags, this was $2. So that was a super, mm. that was a super good price for Harley. Oh, jeez, jeez. I have to clean up my area. Anyway, and then we have another Harley long sleeve, perfect for fall. This has like the flames going down. And this is from Maui. Ooh, this smells like it's been in like a, a garage where the men smoke cigars. It's got that kind of, it's got that aroma to it. So yeah, that will definitely have to be disclosed. In the listing all right then we have some clothes here i have a hot topic disney this is like um bambi and snow white maybe i don't know 
that's like Thumper, right? And then that's Snow White. And I don't know, I guess this is like a, <laughs> like a movie collaboration, but yeah. So that still has the tags. That was $2. This was $2. Oh, actually, no, they were marked $2 a piece, but I think she charged me $2 for both. And then this is just, this is not even like tagged or sized or anything. This is just like a sweatshirt with like a lace up. I am probably going to keep this for myself. Just like just a casual sweatshirt for fall. All right. So then I went to another house and all of her clothes were $2 a piece, even the pants. So I got a couple things there. I picked up this Marmot uh, shirt. It's like a hoodie, size small. If this was like a bigger size, I probably would have kept it. Uh, I, I like this brand. I actually found a, a Marmot uh, vest one time and I did, I did keep that and I still wear it. I like it. Okay, and then this is a small as well. This is Soma. It's a long one sleeve type dress. So that's really cute. We have here, uh, free people, intimately free people. And that's a size medium. And then we have, I think this is another Soma. Yes, it is. This is an extra small. That is an extra small. So that is a dress. And then we have uh, Vince Camuto. This is small. It's like a cold shoulder, thin sweater. This lady had some nice stuff. Uh, and then we have a J. Crew Perfect T, size four. And okay, this is They Skins Theory. So I have to look this up. I'm not sure if this is by the brand theory or if it's just like, like, I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to look these up, but these are just like a pair of pants. That's the label. Like I've sold theory before and it just says theory. So I don't. I don't know about this. I don't even know what that word is. But anyhow, I will look those up. They were $2. And these are kind of printed. It, it's like a brown black snake print, not your daughter's jeans, size six. And then we have another pair. These are like a black zebra print, like a black and gray. These are also not your daughter's jeans, size four. And yeah, I think that's it for, that's it for the jeans. All right, and then the final items I got were all of these cross stitch kits, which you saw me pick up in, in the video. So these were all a dollar a piece, which is a great price. I listed a ton of cross stitch kits and craft kits, some embroidery, some uh, quilt, kits and stuff like that and they they were really selling um this past week so so yeah I, I mean I have to get these up too so I have this one and then we have one of the bows and fairies in shoe land this one I kind of love like look at that that's really cool I think someone's gonna have a lot of fun with that uh and then we have basket full of petunias this is real vintage this is an Irish blessing I think this one I'm pretty sure I had this one before and it sold right away out of all of the other uh, needles and hoops that I listed. This is nice. This is like a Southwestern scene, Lone Rider. This, this one's really packed full here. And here we have uh, the tiger. Oh, it's framing. Cut. Oh crap, you know what, look. This is open. I didn't realize that was open. 
But anyway, bring this back completed and you get 40% off your custom framing. Hmm. So yeah, got these kits. So that was a pretty, pretty nice price for all of those. All right, guys. So that is going to wrap up this haul video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you're still enjoying this content. Uh, comment. Let me know how, let me know how the yard sales are doing in your neck of the woods. Uh, if you guys are still having them, if they're still going strong for you, if you're still finding a lot of stuff, whatever. And uh, yeah. Also, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Bye.